Hi everyone, welcome back. I now get the privilege of talking to you about dun 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 subdays. Absence management frontline. This first slide is mostly for new teachers. Our absence management system, formerly known as ASOP, is called Frontline. I've included the link to Frontline on this slide. You'll receive a welcome email from Frontline asking you to create a Frontline ID. You'll receive a second email asking you to confirm your account. Don't mistake these emails for junk mail. You'll need to respond to both emails to complete the setup process. Returning teachers have already used this system. You should be able to log in using the same user and password information you used last year. Sub days, how to for sick days. Requesting a sub when you're sick is simple, and it should be, you're sick. There are two simple steps. One, log into Frontline, and the link is included on this slide, and request a sub. Two, complete a green application for leave card and give to me. I've included a link for FAQs for sick leave on this slide, and you have a hard copy in your packet as well. If you have an emergency or need assistance, please feel free to call me. Sub days, how to for PN days. Requesting a sub for PN days is a little different. Advance notice is required when taking PN days, except in the case of an emergency. If you need to use a PN day for an emergency, follow the same steps for requesting a sub as you would for a sick day. You're required to notify Donnie in advance of taking a PN, but you don't need to tell him why if you don't want to, and he's not authorized to approve your PN leave. Personnel approves PN days. So the three steps for taking PN are 1. Notify Donnie. 2. Log into Frontline and request a sub. 3. Complete a green application for leave card and give it to me. I've included a link for FAQs for PN leave on this slide and you have a hard copy in your packet. So remember, please call me if there's an emergency or if you need assistance of any kind. Sub days, how to for planning days, conferences, and trips. So planning days, conferences, and trips take a little more preparation on your part. The first step is to get approval from Donnie. He's already approved three planning days for each of you for this school year. New teachers, please see your department chairs for information on your planning days. The second step is to request your date in the Substitute Calendar System, or SCS. The link is included on this slide. The SCS system lets you know if there are subs available for the date you're requesting. The important thing to know about this is that if there are no subs available in the SES system, you may not request a sub in Frontline. You may not be absent on that day for a planning day, conference, or a trip. If it's imperative that you attend a particular conference or trip and subs aren't available, if you get approval from Donnie to attend, it's your responsibility to get your classes covered by coworkers and let me know who will be covering for you so I can pay them. On the flip side, if you are able to obtain a SES number, you're good to go. Log into Frontline to request a sub. Complete a Request for Authorization of Conference Attendance Form, which we call a conference form, and turn it in to me. A copy of this form is, is included in your packet. You will follow these same procedures for trip travel, but you'll work with Trish to complete trip travel paperwork as well. So, simple as that. Easy peasy. Good seeing you all. Talk to you later. Bye.